Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome back. And in this question, what we got to do is we got to find the point of intersection between these two lines and we have to solve it by graphing. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take both of these lines. I'm going to put into y equals mx plus b format. So this line over here, if we isolate for the y, bring the negative 2y over, bring the negative 16 over, we would have 4x plus 16 equals 2y and then divide everything by 2. To get that y by itself, we would have y equals 4 over 2 is 2. And then uh, this here would end up being 8, like that. So we got y equals 2x plus 8. And then over here, this line, if we bring the 3x over, we'd have 3y equals negative 3x plus 6. Divide everything by 3. We would end up with y equals um, negative x plus 2, like that. And so now we can graph both of these lines. So I'm going to start with, uh, let's actually start with this line over here. So we'd have y equals negative x plus 2. So let's graph a couple of points. So if this is 2, let's say 2 is over here. So we got 0 and 2. And then notice that this is a slope of negative 1. So it's like negative 1 over 1. So if we go down by 1, run by 1, so this here would end up being 1 and 1. And then um, continuing that pattern, this here would end up being 2 and 0. Let's actually write these down. And uh, let's join these points for now. Let's see what ends up happening. So I'm going to join those for now. And now let's see how y equals 2x plus 8 looks like on this graph relative to this other line. So 8, that's going to be like up here. Right, so this is 0 and 8. And notice that this is a positive slope, a positive slope of 2. So this line is going to look like this. So notice that the point of intersection is actually going to be somewhere over here. So if I take this, draw the line like that. And so what we can do is we can actually find the points on this line going this way and then find the points of this line going this way. I could have actually even just roughly graph these first just to know that the point of intersection was in this quadrant. Because notice that when I graphed this line originally, I was going this way just to get some points for reference to make the line. But to save time, I could have even just graphed these roughly, found out where the points of intersection are, and then went that specific way that we have to go. So if, uh, if the slope is 2 here, what's happening is that we're rising by 2 and we're running by 1. So if we go the opposite direction, if we run 1, go down by 2, that would be over here. So this would end up being uh, negative 1 and 6. And then if we continue doing that, uh, go down by 2, and then um, we're running by 1. So this here would end up being negative 2 and 4. right? And that's actually going to be the point of intersection, because notice that if we apply the same process to this line, we're at 0 and 2. Well, if we're going to the right, then we're going down by one, and then we're running by one. So if we do the opposite, here this point would be negative one and three, and then one, one, notice we would end up with negative two and four. So negative two and four is actually where both of these lines are going to intersect. And you can actually check this. So we could take a negative two and four. So if we plug in negative two for x, plug in four for here, notice how we would have negative eight minus eight, which is negative 16, left side equals right side. If I plug in negative two over here and then four over here, we would have negative six plus 12, which is six. So left side equals right side. So when you get this coordinate, from your graph, you could check it by plugging it into the original equations. Make sure that left side equals right side.